welcome to Baby Einstein in July. I'm your host, Thomas Donegan. In case you don't recall our last episode, which, is, which was our first episode, we looked at Baby Bach Musical Adventure. It was one of my favorites and was, still is today, with all its music, visuals, and instrument montages. It was great. It featured some of Johann Sebastian Bach's best music, and they were all great selections. Well, today, we're going to look at another Baby Einstein movie that's a favorite of mine. And boy, am I excited to talk about it already. As a matter of fact, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite Baby Einstein movie ever. And that movie is... Baby Mozart Music Festival. Now, Baby Mozart is kind of like Baby Bach, except it has music by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart instead of Johann Sebastian Bach. You know, by looking at the cover, it almost looks similar to Baby Bach. It's C it's for 1 to 36 months, and it has the same description, visual and musical and language experiences to stimulate and delight your baby. Here's the difference. Uh, baby Mozart is a yellow bear with dark turquoise ears, and he's w wearing a red bow tie with polka dots, and he's playing the drums. The drums are red and blue, and he has purple drumsticks, and there are blue music notes in the background a little bigger than the ones in Baby Bach. And it says in that bubble, a video of the year winner, Child Magazine and Parenting Magazine. So, it must have been very popular in its time. And just like Baby Bach, we're going to look at the 2000 version of Baby Mozart. You'll notice another similarity it has with Baby Bach, at least with the beginning and ending. So are you ready for some more music? I know I am. Let's get ready for Baby Mozart Music Festival. I'm Thomas Donegan, and this is Baby Einstein in July. Here's the Family Home Entertainment logo. All Baby Einstein movies in 2000 were released by Family Home Entertainment. Just like Baby Bach, we begin with an orchestra tuning up as the warning screen appears. Okay, here we go. Conductor tapped podium. Ah, the Magic Flute, one of Mozart's finest operas. We're going to hear this later on in the movie. Hey, it's a drumming bear, just like the one on the front cover. Red a tat a red a tat a red a tat. The Baby Einstein Company presents Z B A M B T A R Y O Baby Mozart. Those are deep sea candles. They're called that because they're stuff you would find deep in the sea. And they are candles. First music segment is a kinetic art segment. This is a kinetic frog visual. You can tell because you see frog shapes. The song that's playing is Piano Sonata No. 10 in C Major, First Movement by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. It's a pretty piece. Oh, this is one of the best visuals I've ever seen in a Baby Einstein movie. It's the Mini Orbiter by Planet Time. While we're on the subject, the Mini Orbiter has planets. The planets are way up in outer space in the solar system. I know the planet with rings is Saturn, and the red one is Mars, and the big one is Jupiter, 
I'm guessing the green one is either Mercury or Venus. I'm not so sure. This is another cool kinetic visual. It's the tri-illusion because there are one, two, three circles. And they are red. Look how fast it's going. So far we're off to a great start with Baby Mozart. Not just because of the visuals, but because of the music. This is the Cosmic Rings. Not to be confused with the Cosmos Kinetic that was in Baby Bach. It's made up of eight rings, each one smaller than the last, and there's a sphere right in the center. And now we're coming into probably the most iconic scene in any Baby Einstein movie. You all know who this is! This is Bard the Dragon! He's the dragon puppet I was talking about last episode. Those are lemons. Lemons are make lemonade. That's an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Those are string beans. Didn't know what those were before when I first saw them as a kid. That is a peach. Like peaches and plums. Oh, and that's a banana. I like bananas. I have them for breakfast. Here's Bart the Dragon again. Now listen. <laughs> that never gets old. It never does. This is the most famous segment in Baby Einstein history. I could watch this scene over and over again nonstop. Hey, that sounds like a train. It is a train. It's chugging along to Concerto for Flute, Harp, and Orchestra in C Major, First Movement. Boy, that is a mouthful. By the way, that song in the food segment was the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Variations, my favorite song in Baby Mozart. That, that's a touch and play teddy bear. Its, it's parts are glowing and going in a clockwise direction. Whoa, that looks like a rainbow. I don't know what it is, but like I said, it looks like a rainbow. That's a pet carousel. There's a cat holding yarn, a dog holding a bone, and a rabbit holding a carrot. Pretty cool. And now we're back to the train. It's going through a tunnel and crossing the bridge and passing by the station. There's also a sign with a number 50 on it, a railroad crossing sign, a tree, another tree, and a traffic signal. There's also a crossing and the train's going around and around. Choo-choo! I love that sound of a train. That's an elephant on a toy globe. And here's a real toy elephant! <laughs> Cute, isn't it? That's a metronome with a red crab on it. Metronomes help players keep rhythm when they practice music. Oh, this is one of Mozart's best songs. It is Piano Sonata Number 11 in A Major, Third Movement, a.k.a. The Turkish March. Right now we're watching a playful circus seal race. There's a black seal, a green seal, and a blue seal. They're going up the stairs, down the slide, past the red flag, around the bend, through the tunnel, and then back up again. Now we're looking at the bottom of the race, and there's a yellow flag. A red f There's also a green flag, which we don't see on screen. And the seals are in a different order than what we've seen before. It's now black, blue, and green. Now we, there's an animal marching band that is small but grand. 
There's a red dog, a white rabbit, and a yellow bear. Baby Mozart is a yellow bear. He must have been modeled after the bear in the animal marching band. Back to the circus seals. We're on the very top of the race. And we're seeing the seals go up to the very top of the slide. The order of the seals once again is black, blue, and green. And now we're back to the bottom. By the way, do you know that, that all the circus seals have balls on their noses? Sometimes seals balance balls on their noses at the circus, and sometimes they blow horns to play a song. And once again, there's the animal marching band. But wait, where's the bear? I see the dog and the rabbit, but no bear. Hmm, I'm guessing they must have tried to film it different ways. Oh, there's the bear. That was the Turkish march. <coughs> Ooh, a bug dropped in! It's a very silly looking bug. Mr. Buggity Buggit is its name. And it's looking right at us, blowing a kazoo, and going back up. A close-up view of the undersea candles. The song that's playing is Piano Sonata Number no. 16 in C Major, Second Movement, aka Sonata Simplice. One of the most soothing songs in Baby Mozart. And another one of my favorites. Same with the Turkish March and the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star variations. This is another favorite visual. It's the ooze tubes. The left side is aquamarine, the middle is blue, and the right side is red. Look how it's the ooze is dropping. It's like Pan syrup going on pancakes. I like how slowly it moves and it's in pace with the music. Oh, this is a flash lantern. It changes color slowly to me, but, but to me they come and go so fast I can hardly name what color it's flashing right now. It's either green or red or yellow or blue, or orange, or something. Either way, it's a cool visual. Oh, another metronome segment. This metronome has a yellow dolphin on it. First metronome segment we saw was going up in scale. This, I'm guessing, is probably a warm-up song to play notes. All hail the king and his royal subjects! That's a pretty castle. Was that Twinkle Twinkle Little Star I just heard? No doubt about it, it is. Here's a green ball. A blue ball, a red ball, and a yellow ball. Now the hand is whacking the balls with a mallet to send them rolling down the castle ramp all the way to the door. Where'd they go? Nobody knows. Now it's time for the next song. Sonata and D major for two pianos, first movement. One of the more energetic songs in the movie. Oh, another cool visual. It's the rocket tornado. It's called that because it's shaped like a rocket and there are beads inside moving like a tornado. You can already see why Baby Mozart is another favorite of mine. It's got everything a perfect Baby Einstein movie should have. Music and visuals and some puppet shows. We only saw one puppet show, but we will see more in this. We'll get back to the rocket tornado later in this segment. Let's look at more visuals. This is an alien orbiter, or a UFO as they call it. 
unidentified object. It's spinning like a top and will not stop. This is a double oil drop. The first side of the oil is blue and going down a ramp. The other side of the oil is purple and going up a paddle wheel. And oh, this is a wave machine. so bubbly and wavy, that goes without saying, if you were on a boat and the waves were like that, you would really be in for a ride or a splash. Whoa, this really surfs up. And as promised, we're back to the rocket tornado. These are still going and going. I'm beginning to think that every scene in Baby Mozart is my favorite scene in the whole movie. Now they're going and going until they're stopping and the rocket tornado is sounds like it's taking off. What we're gonna see next. Oh, it's a dog! Look at this silly dog puppet! It's running and barking. Now it's time for another Twinkle Twinkle Little Star variation with animals. First animal is a dog. A man's best friend. This is a cow. All the animals are singing in chorus. This is a duck. Ducks waddle and like to swim in water and fly. This is a cat. And now the animals are all singing together and the cat is singing the last note. Here's another animal, a rooster. The rooster is walking, bobbing his head, flapping his wings. Let's out one final bob and crows just like that. Cock a doodle doo! Hey, it's the mini orbiter planets from the Piano Sonata number 10 segment. This time they're in a white background instead of a black background, and we're seeing more of what this toy's like. I can even see Earth. That big sphere in the center, I believe, is the Sun, center of our solar system. Those are butterflies. The song that is playing is Divertimento number 17 in D major, third movement, aka Mozart's Minuet. Me, each song in Baby Mozart has its own caricature. They're either soothing, fun, enjoyable, calm, you name it. And now we're back to the mini orbiter. close-up shot. This toy looks so cool, but it's so hard to find. I wonder why that is. I don't know what this visual is, but it looks like well, I see horses, candles, and bells. This must be some sort of table centerpiece, or maybe it's an outdoor decoration. As the song ends, we're hearing the chiming of the bells. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, that's just a helicopter. A sight and sound helicopter. It's getting louder and louder and ready for takeoff in three, two, one, go! Wow. Next song for the next segment is Piano Sonata Number 17 in B flat major, third movement. I call this segment the hands at play segment mostly because we're seeing the hand playing along with the toys. The hand is putting these funny looking shapes like stars and hearts into this infant sensory cube and there's a dog on it. I like the piano rhythm of this song. Ooh, yeah. 
I were to pick any Baby Einstein movie to watch every day, it would be Baby Mozart. But not literally, because I still watch others. Ooh, now the hand is playing with a happy starfish. This is another iconic scene for a Baby Einstein movie. It's swaying from side to side and bouncing up and down. Up you go! Oh, I've seen a toy like that before. It's the LeMay stacking rings. The first ring is blue with stars. The second ring is purple with pink circles. The third ring has triangles. And the fourth ring is red with polka dots, just like Baby Mozart's bow tie. This is a geometric shape puzzle. First there's the blue circle, then comes the yellow triangle, and then there's the red oval, the hands putting them in its place. Anyway, then comes the green square, and last but not least, the orange rectangle. Now we're back to the stacking rings, only this time a pig is looking at them, and the hand is taking the rings down. It's amazing how Baby Einstein has continuations as each of their music segments go along. It's like, there's still more to show for that visual! Here's a toy club again, but this time it's with a brontosaurus. A brontosaurus is one of many dinosaur species with a long neck. The brontosaurus is walking or stomping and bending its neck down. The dinosaurs lived many years before you and me. Now it's time for yet another metronome segment. This metronome has a green octopus. All the metronomes we saw here have creatures that live in the sea. Oh, and by the way, this kind of reminds me of the music se instrument segments from Baby Bach because it as a running gag. At least that's what I think. Oh, sounds like another train. A different train toy. This is the North Pole Express. And the song is called Piano Sonata Number 15 in F Major Third Movement. Another one of my favorite songs in Baby Mozart. Hey, the train has a face! This line of like reminds me of Thomas the Tank Engine. Here's the rainbow spinner from the Concerto for Flute and Harp, se harp segment. You know, music experts say that the music of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart suit perfect for children. There's even an organization called the Mozart Effect. And that information and more is was on the original 1998 VHS of Baby Mozart. This is the Coca-Cola Polar Bear Blowing Bubbles. It's kind of like the Bubble Blowing Bear from Baby Bach. Polar Bears have seen been the mascot for Coca-Cola since 1994. Kind of rare moment to have a product placement in a Baby Einstein movie. Here's the train toy from the Concerto for Flute and Harp segment, harp segment from the other train toy. And this one is a unicorn clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Unicorns with one horn. That's a pinwheel, and it too looks like a rainbow. I love watching pinwheels. They're, it's spinning around and around. In order to spin around and around, you have to blow it with your mouth, or you can use your hand to make it flick and spin. And maybe baby Einstein uses wind to make the pinwheel go. Now, back to the North Pole Express train, there's also a railroad crossing sign, a traffic signal, and a reindeer crossing sign. A reindeer crossing sign? That's hilarious! Ha 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 ha! I love riding on trains. 
and I don't get to ride on them very much. Now it's the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star variations have returned. First there was food, then there was animals, and now we have doll faces! If there was any Baby Einstein song I could play every day, it would have to be the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star variations. And just as there's no confusion, this is the uh, 11th of 12 variations that Mozart did for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Here's a picture of baby Mozart introducing us to the magic flute, like I said from the very beginning. The first part of the segment is a dolphin puppet dancing to Birdcatcher, the second of Papagino's arias. The dolphin puppet is doing tricks that a real dolphin would do, like swimming, diving, and jumping right out of the water and diving back in again. <laughs> the magic flute puppet shows are the most iconic scene in another one of the most iconic scenes in any Baby Einstein movie. I think Baby Mozart holds the record for most iconic segments in any Baby Einstein movie. The second part of the segment is meeting and greeting friendly puppets during Girl or Woman, the 20th of Papagino's solo arias. This is a giraffe puppet. The giraffe puppet is yellow with red spots. And this is a rooster puppet. The rooster puppet has a big red beak. Here's the red giraffe puppet again. Oh, and he surprised the rooster puppet, or maybe scared him, or said hi. And now he's laughing and on his way again. Oh, here's the St. Bernard dog puppet from before. Here comes our last puppet, a frog puppet. Look at him wave. Frogs start as tadpoles, which then grow legs, they lose their tail, and then they become frogs. Now the frog is blowing a kiss, and on his way again. That's frog talk for, I hope you enjoyed the Magic Food Puppet Shows. You know I enjoyed them, I always enjoyed them. Here's Baby Mozart again, and the tune-up. Now it's time for the grand finale. There's the flashing UFO lights, the Triillusion, only this time it's blue instead of red, the Mini Orbiter planets, the Drumming Bear, from the very beginning, the Playful Circus Seal Race, The Wave Machine, The Rooster Puppet, and The Rocket Tornado. Pretty good selection for the finale, Baby Einstein. Oh, isn't that a cute baby? She's playing with the star segment that was... I mean, excuse me. She's playing with the starfish that we saw in the Piano Sonata Number 17 segment. Anyway, the song selected for the finale is Symphony Number no. 41 in C Major, Fourth Movement, aka the Jupiter Symphony. The music sounded loud when we saw the visuals, but for the baby, the music is quiet and calm. I guess to make us relax after seeing all those visuals go by. Oh, bravo, bravo! That was a, what a show! Bravo, bravo! That's a very loud applause segment. Now we're ending with a man and a girl playing with the baby Mozart puppets. Here's Bar the Dragon, and I think that's a dolphin puppet. The end credits look similar to Baby Bach as well. Oh, here's the rooster puppet talking to a cow puppet. I don't think we saw a cow puppet in Baby Mozart, but we did see a cow visual in the animal segment when they sang Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And now it's the cow and the dolphin together. By the way, the cow and the rooster puppet make a fine couple. Really, they do. And we don't hear what the man and the girl are saying because of the music. 
Okay, here's the St. Bernard Puppet, the Rooster Puppet, and the Frog Puppet together. All from the Magic Flute segment. They're all made by the same company, Applause. And now we're coming to a close with Baby Mozart. Ending with the Family Home Entertainment logo. Alright! That was great! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Baby Mozart Music Festival. Best Baby Einstein movie any Baby Einstein fan could ever ask for. Even me. Everything about it is just so incredible. I mean, you know that feeling you get when you have seen the favorite part of the movie? Well, Baby Mozart takes the cake because... Everything in Baby Mozart is my favorite part of Baby Mozart. You name it, it's in there. I name it, you got it. There's pretty neat visuals, cool toys like the mini orbiter, the tri illusion, the playful circus seals, the, the trains, the uh, twinkle twinkle little star variations that come in every once in a while, and uh, the metronomes, the triple loose tube, the rocket tornado, the wave machine, the, the happy starfish, the magic flute puppet shows, the most iconic scene in any Baby Einstein movie, which is the well-known famous Bard the Dragon segment, that, yeah, never gets old, it does not. And most importantly, Beautiful, classical music songs by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is my favorite composer of all time, and Baby Mozart Music Festival has some of his best, like the Turkish March, the Piano Sonatas, the Magic Flute, and like I said before, the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Variations, which is my favorite song in Baby Mozart. Whew! And it definitely deserves the Child and Parenting Magazine Award for Video of the Year. Okay. Now, I would like to give another shout-out to my YouTube friend, ChaseAce51272.0. If you're watching this, you might remember when you uploaded your opening and closing to the Baby Mozart 2000 VHS and you would make more afterwards and I can't believe it's been 10 years since you started your thing on this channel I mean you should definitely check out his channel he's got Puppet Show Remakes and uh, VHS Collection Updates, DVD Collection Updates, and Toy Reviews, and he even made a top list of his favorite Baby Einstein movies that you should definitely check out. And what can I say except... Happy 10 years, Chase Ace 51272 2.0. And if you've seen my comments, keep up the good work. I, I highly recommend... Anyways, I highly recommend picking up Baby Mozart and Baby Bach to share to children to get them interested in music. If you like Baby Bach and Baby Mozart, then stay tuned for my next episode. Oh, boy. Well, that's it for Baby Einstein in July today, fans. This is Thomas Donigan saying, Bye for now!